Canadian potato growers have a new weapon in their battle against late blight. And to talk about it, I'm joined by Brady Code from Syngenta Canada. Welcome to Real Agriculture, Brady. Thank you, Ben. Hey, you've just released um, a new product, a new fungicide called Arondis Ultra. And I guess the big claim here is better late blight control for potatoes. How does it how does it differ from the products farmers are currently using? Well, Bern, it's, it's revolutionary, actually. Uh, there's two active ingredients in Arondis Ultra. One is a group 40, and the other one's a U15, which means it's actually an unknown mode of activity. And that's the exciting part, is that this new mode of action actually stops late light in such an effective way that it takes very, very little. So the use rate is really low. It's like 15 grams active ingredient per hectare. And the other thing is it actually moves into new growth, which is pretty unique. Mm -hmm. A lot of things move within a plant, like from one side of the leaf to the next, and it moves with an expanding leaf, but it doesn't move into a new leaf. And the rawness will move into a new leaf, which is, which is really, it's, it's rare. It hasn't been seen before, something that moves into new tissue. So this will be a, a great tool for farmers in, in battling or preventing late blight. Right. So let's talk about duration. I mean, like, that's a, another key here. I mean, um, it looks like you've got about 21 days of protection. That's a lot different from, I guess, the 3 to 10 days that uh, other products offer. Yes, that's, that's the other exciting part is, is that is pretty much unheard of, 21 days of protection. Now, it means you spray it on day one and you're protected for 21 days, but it, it's, in some ways it's like buying a new vehicle that can go 250 kilometers an hour. Do you really want to get in it and try and go 250 kilometers an hour? You're going to probably max out your driving capability before you get there. So if you spray this as a grower, you're going to go, I'm protected for 21 days. But maybe I should think about spraying something before I get to that 21 days in case the weather turns bad and now I can't get in. Mm -hmm. So it's protected for 21 days, but you're going to have to manage it as if on day 21 you're going to need to have something else there. So you might spray, you know, 18, 19 days, but you are protected for 21. Yeah. And we've actually determined this by doing um, greenhouse studies in Basel, Switzerland, and what they did was they've had tomato plants related to potatoes, and they inoculated them with late blight every five days. Now, before they started inoculating, they, they sprayed these plants, these tomato plants, with Arondis Ultra, and then they had some check plants, and they started inoculating with late blight every five to seven days. And after seven sprays, the check was dead, like seven inoculations, the checks were dead, and the Arondis were still protected. They went from 17 days out to 28 days, and then they just started to see some late plate on the ends of new growth. So they went, okay, it's shorter than 28 days, but it's longer than 17. So we went with 21 days protection. Right. Now, hey, well, well, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, we also have field trials here in Canada. And Jen Foster, who's a field biologist at Syngenta, she had potatoes out at our research farm and she had inoculated um, guard rows. And then she had potatoes that she treated with Arondis Ultra twice during the whole season. And then she had another plot that was sprayed with Bravo every seven days, like a, norm, you know, like a normal fungicide program. And proved once again that Arondis Ultra lasts 21 days because check plots, they all got late blight in them. The Arondis Ultra didn't and the Bravo didn't. The difference is two sprays of Arondis Ultra versus 10 sprays of Bravo. Right. What about, um, I guess, final question for you, um, Brady, is that, hey, from a management perspective, uh, what about application timing, short season versus long season varieties? Any any key things for growers? A short season potato grower would probably use this fairly early on, and he may only spray three times for late blight in the whole season. The first time you would spray might be when plants are like six to eight inches tall. There's lots of bare ground, so you probably want to rig up your sprayer so you could band just the rows that are growing and you want to get protectant on the stems. So you'd use something like a Bravo Zinc. So you'd put that on there. Then you could come in with an Arondis Ultra. So between the Bravo and the Arondis Ultra, now you've got four weeks protection, adding up one from Bravo, three from Arondis Ultra. And then you might come back with another Bravo, or you might come back with an Allegro, something like that. The key is when you spray Arondis Ultra, 
you need to make two other sprays for, with a product that has late blight on the label. And that's to actually protect a Rhonda Seltzer from resistance um, occurring later on. Right. It's about resistance management. The more effective the tool is, use, and especially with late blight, usually the higher the risk of getting resistance developing. Like we've seen this in the past with fantastic products and resistance happened. Hmm. So two keys. You want to spray preventative with the Rhonda Seltzer. It is not a curative product. It works thousands times better as a preventative than it does as a curative. So there's very little curative activity. So don't use it like that. And then protect it. Think of a, a line, a team line in hockey. The Rhonda Seltzer is your most valuable player. He's the center, but he needs two wingers if you're going to score any points. So you've got to basically have two other late light products with the Rhonda Seltzer. So that's the short season guy. He might have no problems with late light with only three sprays all season. Right. A longer season grower would use the same concept. Get a Rhonda Seltzer on early in the season, like maybe the second or third spray for late light. Then when you come to harvest, think, okay, let's say I want to harvest October 1st. Count back three weeks on the calendar and go, if I spray a Rhonda Seltzer on September 7th, I don't have to worry about late light. And, and until I'm actually digging the potatoes. So that, that's a, that can be a fairly stressful time for growers too. Is you're getting near the end of the race, you're going to harvest in two weeks, and then you hear these reports of late blight around, you have to basically scurry and get things sprayed to protect them. If you sprayed around this ultra, you're protected for three weeks. If you hear there's late blight around, it's not going to happen to you. So it, it relieves a lot of pressure. Right. from growers if they've got the Aranda Seltzer on. And it lets them concentrate on other things. Like, are there other diseases I have that maybe I should use a specialty product on, like early blight or brown spot or black dot? Um, if I have an insect problem, it lets them go out there and basically pick steel to spray for their insects if they've got insect issues. Those, t- those diseases and those insects aren't the same as late blight. When you hear there's late blight, people kind of get in a panic mode and think, I have to get ahead of this. I have to protect myself. Other diseases aren't going to wipe you out like late blight can right, right. In, in a matter of days. Those other diseases, it's like, well, when you get to them, get to them. Like, don't put it off forever. But it's not the same panic for other things. Great. Well, sir, hey, um, thanks for your time today. And, uh, you know, uh, in the, with the hockey analogy, good luck. I hope you've got a winner in your product. <laughs> thanks a lot, Brian.